What happens to people with anemia? Anemia happens when you have fewer red blood cells than normal, and they might be smaller or not working properly. It's a common issue, but it's treatable. Your red blood cells carry oxygen in your body through a protein called hemoglobin, which has iron. When you lack enough of these cells or they aren't working well, you might feel tired and experience symptoms like always feeling cold, headaches, and dizziness. Usually, anemia develops slowly, and people may not notice the effects until the symptoms suddenly worsen. On this episode, I will explain what causes anemia, its symptoms, and how to manage it. What are the common causes of anemia? Anemia can have various causes, mainly linked to a shortage in producing red blood cells or excessive loss of red blood cells. The most common reasons for anemia are nutritional deficiencies involving low levels of vitamin B12, iron, or insufficient protein. The causes of anemia include 1. Malnutrition, resulting from a diet lacking in vitamin B12, iron, or protein. 2. Gastrointestinal diseases, conditions that hinder the absorption of nutrients from the diet. 3. Rapid bleeding, following an injury or surgical blood loss. 4. Chronic blood loss, gradual loss due to conditions like gastrointestinal bleeding, bladder disease, or heavy menstrual bleeding. 5. Congenital red blood cell, disorders present from birth, such as sickle cell disease. 6. Cancer or chemotherapy, certain cancers or cancer treatments can lead to anemia. 7. Chronic liver or kidney disease. Conditions affecting these organs may contribute to anemia. 8. Lead exposure from sources like lead paint or contaminated water. 9. Infections. Certain infections like malaria, primarily found in specific tropical regions. Some conditions like traumatic blood loss can cause sudden and severe anemia. For instance, certain cancers may rapidly worsen leading to a sudden onset of anemia. On the other hand, lead toxicity or liver disease may progress slowly, resulting in a gradual development of anemia. Who's at risk for anemia? Anemia can impact anyone, but it's more prevalent as people age, experience chronic medical conditions, or go through pregnancy. What are the symptoms of anemia? And how can you tell? Regardless of the specific cause, anemia tends to produce similar effects and symptoms. Common indicators of anemia include 1. Lower energy levels, feeling more tired than usual. 2. Increased sensation of cold, noticing a greater sense of chilliness. 3. Dizziness, experiencing a feeling of lightheadedness. 4. Headaches suffering from frequent or persistent headaches. 5. Pale skin, notably paler appearance, especially in the lips, fingers, and toes. 6. Irritability, feeling more easily annoyed or agitated. While these symptoms are general signs of anemia, additional symptoms may be present based on the specific cause. 1. Pica. Consuming non-food items often associated with iron deficiency anemia. 2. Jaundice. Yellowing of the skin and eyes, indicative of liver disease. 3. Diarrhea. Linked to gastrointestinal malabsorption, making it challenging to absorb nutrients from food. 4. Abdominal distension. Swelling or enlargement of the abdomen associated with bladder, liver, kidney, or stomach cancers. 5. Weight loss, resulting from cancer or conditions leading to malnutrition. These symptoms are valuable in the diagnostic process. If you have a known medical condition, your healthcare provider may advise you to be vigilant for these signs, as they could indicate a worsening of the underlying disease. 
When should you see a healthcare provider for anemia symptoms? Neglecting the treatment of anemia is never advisable. If you experience symptoms like pale skin, headaches, dizziness, or fatigue, which are common indicators of anemia, it is crucial to promptly schedule an appointment with a healthcare professional. Conducting blood tests, including a complete blood count, blood smear, and iron tests, can assist in diagnosing the presence of anemia and determining its root cause. Additional tests may be conducted to identify any underlying factors contributing to the condition. What are the signs of severe anemia? Anemia manifests in varying degrees of severity, ranging from mild to severe, with each level necessitating appropriate treatment. Mild anemia, although requiring attention, contrasts starkly with severe cases, which can escalate into a medical emergency. The condition may take on an acute or chronic form, the latter potentially undergoing sudden deterioration. Severe anemia manifests unmistakable effects, notably marked dizziness or even loss of consciousness. In some instances, it poses significant threats to overall health, including the risk of heart failure or deprivation of oxygen to the brain and other vital organs. The following symptoms serve as red flags indicating an emergency due to anemia. 1. Feeling on the verge of passing out. 2. Palpitations of the heart. 3. Accelerated heart rate. 4. Measurable low blood pressure, which you can gauge at home. 5. Shortness of breath. 6. Reduced blood oxygen saturation, measurable with a pulse oximeter at home. 7. Loss of consciousness. Should you exhibit any of these signs or symptoms, it is imperative to seek immediate emergency medical attention. For individuals diagnosed with a chronic form of anemia, having a proactive plan is crucial to managing potential worsening symptoms. This plan may involve contacting your healthcare provider or seeking urgent or emergency care if you experience dizziness or low blood pressure. What is the treatment for severe acute anemia? The management of severe acute anemia may necessitate a blood transfusion, wherein blood from a carefully matched donor is infused to avert lasting organ damage or mortality. Additionally, interventions such as IV fluids, electrolytes, and medications may be employed to address fluctuations in blood pressure. In certain cases, the administration of supplemental oxygen becomes imperative. To facilitate the production of healthy red blood cells, replenishing iron or vitamin B12 may be prescribed. Tailored treatments are also considered based on the underlying causes of anemia. For instance, antiparasitic medications may be employed to combat malaria. What is the daily anemia treatment and management? Addressing the root cause of anemia can enhance red blood cell count and function. In cases of deficiency, iron or vitamin B12 supplements may be advised. However, it's crucial to note that they aren't universally suitable for all types of anemia. Before considering self-treatment with supplements, it is imperative to obtain a proper diagnosis of the underlying cause. Preventing anemia primarily revolves around maintaining a balanced and nutritious diet. Ensuring an adequate intake of various vitamins and minerals, particularly iron, folic acid, and vitamin B12, is essential. For those adhering to a predominantly plant-based diet, vegetarian or vegan, supplementing with vitamin B12 might be necessary due to potential deficiencies. Consultation with a healthcare provider is recommended to determine appropriate supplement recommendations. Regular, annual medical checkups are advisable, as they may include a complete blood count that swiftly detects anemia, enabling prompt diagnosis and treatment. Individuals with chronic conditions like sickle cell anemia may require ongoing maintenance treatment to prevent severe anemia episodes. So, in summary, 
Anemia refers to a condition characterized by a low red blood cell count or the presence of abnormal red blood cells that fail to function properly. Certain individuals may have a predisposition to anemia due to underlying health conditions, while nutritional deficiencies or illnesses such as cancer or infections can also lead to its development. The causes of anemia vary widely, yet the symptoms tend to manifest similarly irrespective of the underlying factor. Common indications include fatigue, headaches, and dizziness. It is advisable to seek medical attention if any symptoms of anemia are experienced. In cases of severe and acute anemia, individuals may encounter a rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, and loss of consciousness. A complete blood count is often one of the initial blood tests conducted to assess various medical conditions. Treatment for anemia is generally effective, and the approach may involve a one-time intervention or ongoing consistent treatment based on the specific cause of the condition. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch more videos by clicking on this video right over here.